So we have completed the De Jong objective. I have done a video on my channel on how to do it the best way with formations and tactics as well. What I use is a little bit annoying the objective because you need to score two goals. But having a look at this card here, it's got five star weak foot, three star skill, six foot two, medium, medium, can play center forward or striker. And look at this card. Unbelievable composure, shot power, finishing, sprint speed and acceleration, header and accuracy. A balance and agility are letting him down ever so slightly, but nothing to worry about. And he has power header and leadership. He is already lengthy as a standard card, so he's great as a super sub. But we are going to put a hunter on him. We're going to talk about Kem Styles, his position and how he felt in game at the end of the review. But let's go jump into some gameplay right now. And just to show you his stats quickly with 100, you can see he gets a plus 8 on pace and a plus 8 on finishing. So he's going to become an absolute monster. So with De Jong, I really want to see if he's got that Haaland effect with this lengthy, especially having 5-star weak foot. He's played up against quite a good team here, a nice mixture of players. And really just to see how we get on with him. We are playing this in foot champ, so it's going to be a good level of competition. And it's just mainly his finishing and his link up. That's the most thing we're looking for here. So we have got De Jong on the ball. Uh, he feels a bit sluggish. Oh, going into full sprint, not the quickest there. We're getting through a bit of the offside trap. Travella, left foot, already a gnarly goal. Great start there. Our opponent tried to offside trap us. Not going to happen with De Jong, I'm afraid. And that is a fantastic start. Got De Jong, a bigger player. It finds De Jong, and he got the end of it. Oh, just not quick enough there. Not the greatest pass either. Cross goal, right foot. Ooh, very unlucky. He seems like the last man type of striker. He's definitely not going to be making these left stick dribbling in sort of intricate dribbles, that's for sure. Oh, lovely football. De Jong, has he not scored? So unlucky. I think our opponent might be making some changes or quitting. So he has carried on. He hasn't decided to quit. That's fine. Let's have a look at some of these. So he's got good power, good penalties. Not obviously the greatest of penalty, uh, free kicks, but we shall try something here. A little Traveller on the edge of the box if we get the space. It's just a bit too slow with it. Got away with it there. A bit of skill. Great little pass in there. And that goal has come from De Jong with a little link-up play into the box there. Lovely little pass. He's not, like I say, he's not the greatest at skill. Passing and shooting, fantastic. Sitting on last man, fantastic. That's where we want him, last man, driving forward. Bit of luck. How have we not scored? Oh, so unlucky. He gets in the right places all the time. There is De Jong, though. Right foot. Bang! Bottom corner. What a goal. Looks like a raise quit. He is clinical. He's just a little bit difficult for me to get used to because of his body type. But when you get through on goal with him, it is going to be a goal, especially a cross goal. I've not really noticed too much in terms of weak foot problems. Being five-star weak foot, sometimes the cards aren't the greatest. But his dribbling is a very lacking in terms of getting off into full speed. But once you got into full speed, you're not catching him with this lengthy system. And that is what's so good about him. He's definitely sitting on the last man. Let's go jump into another game. Into our second game then of champs. So far, so good from De Jong. Asking the right questions. Getting the shots off that we need. And most importantly, getting those goals. Sitting here is great for doing his little one-two passes. Very unlucky not to play it back. But they're the best ways to kind of use him. I'm just gonna shoot across goal. Oh, a little rebound though. We'll take the rebounds. He's only got to hit the target. We'll take that lovely little start there. Again, lovely little link up with Dion with the one two running into space. And that's exactly what we need from him. Dion, right foot. Bang! Straight across goal again. And he's so good at finishing. How many goals can we score with him? If this was last year's FIFA, this card would be terrible. This year, he is unbelievable. Dion this time. We've got him. Nice little control, holding the ball up, waiting. Great pass in. Look at that for a pass. What a save. That's an unbelievable save. But what a pass from De Jong as well. Do get him on the ball. Left foot. Bang. Top corner. Doesn't matter. He doesn't need the assist. He'll take the goal instead. Thank you very much. Woo. This guard is definitely worth doing. Horrible grind, but worth doing. De Jong. Sit on the last man. Play over the top. Go on, De Jong. Use that power. De Jong volley, bang, that's another great finish, that's a hat-trick for him, and that's the best place to use him, getting him on full speed and playing the ball over the top, because he's so big and so strong, he'll get onto the end of that, and you guarantee he's going to score, the gap pose, same team, De Jong, right foot, back of the net, another great goal, 5-1, unbelievable player, unbelievable, Trezeguet can finish it, there it is, that is another goal, and our opponent has rage quit, I think that's enough footage of showing you goals. You can see here four goals of him. 14 out of 14 dribbles complete. I will admit he's not the best at dribbling. That's a very, very flattering stat. But shooting, 
He had four shots, sorry, five shots, four goals, left foot, right foot, doesn't matter. Really good at passing as well. He is lacking in the pace, as I mentioned, but when you get him on full speed, no one's catching him. Let's go jump onto Footbin. So as you can see, we are on Footbin, and we did have a Hunter on him, and a Hunter makes him a 92 rated striker. And I have to say, for an objective, with that PSV Gakpo SBC player of the month, this card's just worth doing for all of the objectives we have for our Divizzi. He is the missing link in that team at the moment, and this card is just another level of striker. Very, very slow with the build-up in terms of running on to full speed, but once you get him there, he's unstoppable. A couple of the over-the-top through balls you saw where we scored them, he was just unbelievably good with it. No one could bully him off because of his strength being so high at 85, and just having that really good acceleration of sprint speed. Hunter's the one to go for on both console old and new gen. If you didn't want to go for Hunter, you could always try a Hawk. Obviously, he brings his pace down ever so slightly, but you are boosting some of his strength stats up. So it's something to consider. Or if you really wanted to max out his uh, ability to dribble, you could always go for a engine. But that does put him to control on new gen. So it's something to consider. But on old gen, he will be fine. As always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card in the game, comment down below. If you are new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and catch you in the next one. See you.